and the Debrinic Channel is back, and today we are going to be talking about the West, we're going to be talking about the Drought, we're going to check Lake Mead, we're going to be checking Lake Powell, we're going to see where these are at, and we are also going to be checking on all the golf courses that are in the West, and it's not good, ladies and gentlemen. So without further ado, let's go right over there, and we're going to be talking about these golf courses. No offense to anybody who plays golf, I'm not knocking golf, I like golf, but at the same time, we got a problem. So what is the problem you may be asking yourself so let's roll over to the maps and find out what is going on here golf courses golf courses golf courses look at the map of all the golf courses in the united states we have golf courses all the way in mexico united states canada it goes quite a way it goes all the way to alberta there's golf courses look at the midwest probably has the most golf courses in the world but my big concern is down here in the west you may be asking yourself, what's the big deal about the West? Well, this reservoir here called Lake Mead supplies quite a bit of these golf courses with water. And this is not a good deal. So, Phoenix per se, has a lot of golf courses. Tucson has a lot of golf courses. San Diego, a lot of golf courses, and so does in Los Angeles. Las Vegas has golf courses, and all along the Colorado River has golf courses. The golf courses take a tremendous amount of water to water the grass there at these golf courses. And as a matter of fact, 90 million gallons is how much a typical golf course uses every year that is crazy golf courses account for 5.1 million acres of the land worldwide there's around 80 acres of an average 18 hole golf course 100 acres of maintained turf grass are irrigated so they do use irrigation which is okay that's why you see the big ponds and stuff but at the same time they're still losing water because especially in the desert there's sun and the sun evaporates it as they throw it on the grass and then the grass uses up some of it and some of it makes it back some of it doesn't that's why they are shutting down these golf courses why in the world would you have a golf course in the desert other than pure enjoyment I understand that people need enjoyment in their life and I get that but at the same time they are some upset folks today especially in Arizona what I want to reach on is the governor said that they are going to shut down golf courses because they have no other choice they are losing water from Lake Mead because Lake Mead is falling and it's less than 34 percent full at the current time and it continues to fall every day and I have some numbers you might want to hear later on on that but these golf courses although they're they're nice to have they're not essential it's not an important everyday thing for people to do i know some people would disagree with me and that's fine you're welcome to your opinion but when it comes to a mega drought that we are going through right now this is not a good idea so we are going to keep an eye on this and see when all these golf courses will get shut down we know all of arizona's golf courts got a cease and desist letter from the governor and this is not a good situation for those people i feel bad for some of those people some of those people are going to lose their job and that's understanding but but at the same time the drought's the drought and until things change we have to worry about drinking and showering and eating food's more important than these golf courses in my opinion i mean people have to eat and if you think it's bad now wait till next year when they start cutting all these farmers water off now let's go talk about how much lake mead means what everything means on these graphs that i've been showing some people are completely lost and i feel bad for those people because they have no clue some people are not reading it right and i just want to clarify what each graph states so without further ado we're going to roll right over to the graphs okay we are going to roll over to the water levels and this is the current water level is at 1000 70.62 feet and if you look right here on the blue line it's 1070.62 feet june 17th that means that the water level is 1070.62 feet above sea level this goes into the gulf 
of California. That's where that water level is. So that's the sea level. That's the level at zero. And then it climbs up to 1,070.62 feet. And that's what the MSL means. Level base. MSL above sea level. Now I know what full pool means is 1,229 feet. That is the top of the dam. It doesn't get any higher than that. Anything above that will go over the spillway, the emergency spillway, and it will prevent it from going over the top of Hoover Dam. Winter Pool. This is where I'm baffled. I have no idea. I'm going to be straight with you folks. No idea what Winter Pool means. If somebody knows, let me know because I am baffled by it. I do don't know what that means. I've never seen the lake at 915 feet. It's never been that low since they filled it. No clue what that means. Now, the lower intake tower, lower cylinder gate, entrance liner is 895.0 feet. The lowest outlet below this elevation is a dead storage. So once the lake reaches 895 feet, then the only people that have any stock in it is Las Vegas because they dug an ultimate water pipe to the very bottom of the lake and they still got a little over 100 feet to mess around with before anything else happens. Now, another thing noted, like I'm looking at this graph and this is dated because it says that the maximum water level could be 1,050 feet and that is actually now to 950 feet because they put in new generators to cope with the lower water pressures to make power still so they are prepared because obviously they think something's going to happen where they're going to need the bigger generators and they got rid of the old and now we are going to see more power up until 950 feet instead of 1050. Now you may be asking yourself exactly how low can Lake Mead go? Lake Mead can go to 708.7 feet. And you may be asking yourself, how many feet is that? So Lake Mead has a storage of 520.3 feet. That is a lot of storage. Lake Mead currently has 362.07 feet. Today the level is only 120.7 feet of water before the water level is cut off. So here's the big prediction. Everybody's been asking what is your prediction? I kind of did some calculations. I ran it by if the lake was to drop there's no more rain, nothing happened, there's no more snow, there's no more water storage before December 1st. I'm predicting and this is just a prediction it could go higher it could go lower it's just something that I kind of ran the numbers I'm predicting that it's going to drop another 16.7 feet by December 1st and that will take us to a water level of 1053.88 feet that takes us under 100 feet before the power is cut off and that is nuts and it's just a matter of time before it happens but the real problem like I said in the last video is because of Lake Powell and let's go check out those numbers right now this is why it's such a terrible problem here here look at last year look how this thing bumped up it bumped up starting right around May this thing was on the downhill slide in 2021 the blue being this year the red being two years ago lime cream is a year ago last year so in 2019 look how much this thing rose it rose like crazy and then all of a sudden it started a slow descend slow descend and it barely bumped up and then it started a fast descend and then a really fast descend this year and now look at it we are in a world of trouble because like right now it should be rising there should not be any fall whatsoever like it did here look it just went straight up and it's not doing that this year this year you got 0 0.2 now you got your full pools 3700 feet above sea level msl today's water level is 3561.76 feet above sea level that's what that means above sea level so hoover dams 1200 you can see that it's falling and down below hoover dam it goes into the gulf of california and there you have it let's go check out the long range forecast and then i'll get out of you guys' hair here we are at climate prediction center it's NOAA. it's common thing july 21st it shows above normal temperatures above normal temperatures all these right here are above 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 all the way out to here 
all these show above so this lake is in trouble because the precipitation the one that we really need it shows normal right in here below normal low normal low normal low normal low normal low normal and this is december 22 now below normal below normal below normal 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 below normal normal and the problem with these oh you're like well it says that they're gonna get something here no that is not what it means so july of 2021 they don't get much rain there even in july so it's normal that's the new norm it's not good like look here in the midwest april may june 22 it's showing that they're going to get a lot of rain they're going to get a lot of rain here they're going to get a lot of rain there midwest midwest so from january march april may june june july you see it just changes so that ladies and gentlemen is disturbing in closing we got a mega drought that's going on temperatures made it to 110 plus degrees for six days straight looks like it's going to be a seventh day straight that's a record it shattered for june and this is a sad sad tell thanks for tuning in tonight you guys have a great day and we'll see you on the next one god bless and peace